it's me, Excommendensis, and today I'm super, super excited because I finally got... What is her name, actually? I've just been calling her Elvis. Jukebox BB. I fell in love with this doll when she first leaked. I know a lot of people really didn't like her, but I love this doll. I think she is so cool. And I wasn't able to get her when she first came out, and I was really scared she would sell out. I've had her for a couple of days. I've just been working really, really late, and Brett's parents are in town. But thankfully... They are not here right now, and I got home from work early today, so I can open her. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. You know me, I'm not leaving her in the box. And her stage is its own whole piece you get. Also, I looked through like 20 of these dolls, and all of them had issues except this one. Like, I think the glittery lipstick, like the glittery makeup on OMGs is very often messy. Um, that was the main problem. One of them, her entire face paint was blurry. I probably should have taken a picture, but she'll probably still be there. I live in a small town and not a single one of the dolls at my Walmart has sold, I don't think. Like, they just keep putting more out. There's just so many. There's an entire display piece in the center of the, like, walking, the walkway. You know, the, the walkway. Um, and then there's, there's like an end cap and then there's even more in the aisle. So, I don't know if anybody's bought them. I feel like these might clearance out there and I would love to get more. I really like the base doll. I'm not gonna mess with her hair because I'm never gonna be able to put it back up and I think it looks good um, as it is. But if she goes on clearance, I will buy another one so I can play with another one. And I think the stage is really cool. Um, all right, what's next? Oh, all right, we seem to have some kind of thing in here. Oh, it's her songbook. See, these are meant to be open. You would never know about her songbook if you did not pop her out of here. Here's her songbook. One for the music, two for the show, three for the fashion. Now rock and roll. And then we've got volume nine. So each of the remix dolls comes with like some lyrics and I think it makes a complete song. I only have two remix dolls so far, so I have Honey in this one. Um, and then we've got instructions on how to use the stage, I'm assuming. And now let's get all of this out of here. How do we do that, though? So... That's, that's my least favorite thing about collector's edition dolls. They're actually really hard to open, <laughs> which is the point. All right. That was my phone. <laughs> um... What is this box? It's so weird. She has like a backdrop that you can separate and keep with her. I think that's the point. It's not perforated though. I don't know. This is such a strange box. All right, but we're gonna cut this just for ease of unboxing because I assume there's ties on the back of this. Come on. Oh, okay. Now we have the box separated, so you could get the doll out and still keep the box in perfect condition. I'm probably not going to keep the box just because I don't really need it. Um, but here she is. Mine is pristine. Like every single detail on this one is perfect. I think there was an issue with like one of the clothes pieces, or maybe that was the one that I put back. But I don't really see anything. Oh, she's so cool. All right, I need to figure out how to get her out of here. All right, we've got... Oh, we've got the token to make the jukebox work. That's pretty cute. I love how they had to put no cash value on that. Oh, never mind. I thought that was just to be silly, but it's actually because it's like a Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, maybe they had tokens like this at places that had jukeboxes. I've never been. I was born in 1999. But um, it's got the United States of pizza, one slice point. One slice or point. So it's like, you know, if you've ever been to Chuck E. Cheese or anything like that, they have these old tokens. So that's really cute. Um, maybe there were jukebox tokens at other places, or maybe you did just put a quarter in. I've always heard of putting a quarter in for it, but who knows? I don't. <laughs> All right, then you cut here, or you could just untape it, this tape on the back. Oh, <laughs> how clever. This is where her brush was. That's why there's a, well, and also to use less material. Brush, basic gold brush, lame. I love this glittery plastic they used for the back of the stage. Didn't really have to do that because it's not see-through in the front, but you can see it here. All right, how? What else do I need to do? Ah, I need to cut at the bottom, and then she's free. 
And then let's get the stage all the way out if I can. Ah, ties, hate thou. I wonder what the edition count for these are. I assume they're not limited edition because I think they say special. Yeah, they, they're just collector edition. So they probably make just as many, if not more. Well, honestly, for the remix dolls, there's like eight of each character at my Walmart right now. And there's like at least 30 jukebox movies. Oh, that's the cat eating. I was like, oh no, somebody's home. Um... So I feel like they make more jukebox movies than the others, but with Crystal Star, she's like gone. Like I can't find her anywhere, so maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Well, I guess they don't restock these. After the initial stock of these, I assume they're gonna be gone. So maybe that's the, the limited aspect of it. Whereas with the others, they could re-release them whenever they want. Although they did re-release Crystal Star this year, didn't they? I don't, I don't mind when they re-release limited stuff. All right, so that's the try me for the stage, but. Let's get it all the way turned on. Is that off? Yeah, that's off. All right, but if you put the token in, you get music. So let's see. Was that just a joke? Am I a joke to you? Come on. We'll figure that out on the instruction booklet. Yeah. All right, and I love that this is like the, the front of a car because that's like very much a vintage diner aesthetic to have those like goofy cars. Uh, let's get her out. Oh man, I was hoping she came with a normal stand too, but she doesn't. She just comes with the, the stem to a normal stand. All right, so her only other accessories are in here, I guess. I Oh man, I ripped the tissue paper. That's okay, it has tape on it, so. And there are these sunglasses, aviators in pink. Very on brand for Miss Not Elvis. Um, all right, for these, I'm going to pull them. When I pull those, I, I can't comment sometimes. I hold the tie itself and pull. I'm not just pulling on the fabric and causing snags or anything. I'm going out of my way to be careful. Also, I hate when people comment on the way I like open things. Like, this is my belonging. You can have it, certainly. It's not yours. Why do you care so much? It's so weird. That's the really you need to get a hobby and get your own. Jealous, you know? Totally not sub -sweep. Totally not referencing a certain Disney YouTuber that you might know. Hopefully you don't know. I don't really know if he has any clout. All right, and then for these ties, I just pull them. Not the neck one, but the, the ones that are stuck in the back of the head. All right, and this video, luckily, is about a collector's edition doll, so I can leave it as not made for kids. Haha. -ha. Loophole. Okay. She's out! It's just so weird to unbox an OMG and just be done when you get the doll. Like, you don't have to worry about the accessories. All right, her hair is super heavy, so I'm already getting some uh, head movement. And um, a lot of the dolls were perfect, but the hair wasn't. This one had this beautiful hair. With the victory roll, cowlick, this thing is just absolutely perfect on this one. And then we've got, I think the hair is just supposed to be in a curly ponytail, but it was bound here, so it's bound here. Or I just cut out the thing, I'm actually not sure. Um, and let's get all these random ties off of you. She is so pretty. She's got red painted nails. She actually has a ring which sticks through her fingers, similar to Barbie's, and it's got a horseshoe, I believe. Gosh, I can't tell. No, it's not a horseshoe. What is it? No, it might be. I think it's a circle, two lightning bolts, and a horseshoe. Make sure you can... I don't think my camera is going to be able to focus on that. It's not even trying, so... There's your answer. <laughs> um, Her... Earrings are, of course, records and super cute. They've got that like Z-shaped lightning bolt thing that is all over this kind of vintage aesthetic she's got going. Um, I'm going to take the little stand off for now because it's in the way of the outfit. And that's, so that's kind of how the stand works. You just pop her stand in. And I know she has this really cute turtleneck under here. Oh, this is a buckle, not Velcro. This is an actual like plastic snap. 
Um, oh, it's not a turtleneck. It's like a halter top, sleeveless halter. This is really cute. I might actually take it off of her because she doesn't really need it. I adore this outfit. It is so cool. Just all the embroidered details. It's got rhinestones. The snap is hard to do. Um, it's got rhinestones, front and back design. The back is even cooler because we've got the embroidered, very... Um, the type of fabric you see on a kipau is all over this. Chipau? Maybe I pronounced that wrong. Um, pronounce it very Texan, I'm sure. Um, love this cape. And then the other side is sequined with um, like a purple satin material. Really nice. Oh, and embroidery in there too. So, so pretty. Oh, we've got a little tinsely thing from the fabric hanging off. Get off. Make sure to cut those because if you pull them, you're gonna rip the embroidery across the entire fabric. Don't ask me how I know. And then the pants have this row of different fabric that is sparkly and the sleeves actually have that too. I think she might have a bracelet. No, she doesn't, it's just the ring. Um, I really, really love this doll. This is spectacular. Also look at her makeup. And I don't know why, but no matter what, people are like will complain about something. People hate the tinsel on this doll. I love tinsel, personally, and I think it looks really, really good on this doll. And none of it... My only issue that I do have with tinsel is that it's really hard to curl. So sometimes you'll get a curly-haired doll with just straight tinsel, and that looks ridiculous. This tinsel is perfectly following the direction of the actual hair. It looks really, really good, especially up here. I'm impressed by that. Just her face is so pretty. I love her. I, I just... This might be my favorite one. I'll, I'll have to have her for a while before I can make that decision, but I'm just in love with her. And I, I knew I would be. She's been on my mantle because I haven't been able to open her. I've just been staring over there for days, waiting till I could open her. Now let's open up the little instruction booklet and see how the heck we get this to work. <laughs> the batteries included are for in-store demonstration. You must install fresh alkaline batteries. Is that why it's not working? I'm not using a screwdriver, no. It should be fine. No. Move the switch from the trimming position to the on position. After playing, move it to the off position. Press the button on the front to turn the lights on. Remove the token from its storage, then insert it into the slot at the side of the- Oh! <laughs> this is for storing the token. You put it here. And then here, there's a place to insert it so that you can get your music. So let's- So, okay, so that's the song. The speaker isn't spectacular, um, but I don't really expect it to be. Pretty sure the doll boxes actually have this, a similar condition speaker. Do you think it is just one song or? Let's see, I'll try it again. Yeah, it's the same song. Okay, we're gonna turn it off. You know, I was actually expecting the Remix Dolls songs to be amazing because the um, extra song is actually really good. Like, it's actually on my playlist that I listen to. <laughs> um, but I don't super like any of the Remix songs. I think some of them were pretty good, and I think some of them are definitely, like, will warrant to re-listen and that, that I like them, but none of them blew me away, and I was kind of sad about that, but... They are just songs for a kid's franchise. I don't hold them to any kind of super high standard. Um, but here she is. I really, really like her. I'm really, really satisfied with this doll. I cannot wait to collect the rest of Remix, especially the four pack. The four pack is amazing. Like, I like all of the four pack better than all of the single release ones, except this one. I'm pretty sure anyway, I don't have them all. Um, but I'm really, really glad I was able to get this little lady. And I want to say thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this doll, if you like her, if you don't, and let me know why. Um, I just, I think she's so cool. And she's really high quality, as if the OMG dolls aren't already spectacular quality. This one is just, like, absolutely, like, stellar, top tier like, doll quality. Really, really good. And I'm really happy to have her. Um, that's about it. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned for the rest of the Remix reviews. I don't know if I'll upload this one first or if I'll upload um, Honeylicious's first, but I do have Honeylicious. 
and I haven't gotten the other ones yet, but we'll see. I'm not uploading videos right now for personal reasons, so who knows when you'll see this video, but <laughs> hopefully soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys, for all this time. Bye!